<laughs> What's poppin' my dudes? Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Shaq, aka Black Goku. For those of you guys that are new, I'm a Nintendo YouTuber, or at least that's the goal, that's what I'm trying to do. And right now we are starting the first part to the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Let's Play, my boys. Oh, I used the wrong controller. So, I am an avid Pokemon fan, love this game to death, or love all Pokemon in general, games, etc. Anime, merchandise, whatever you want to call it. Everything. I just love everything about it. So I'm just going to read this shit off. Hello there. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. And if you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokemon, well, some people keep them as companions, others you battle, yeah, as for myself. <laughs> as always, I'm a slow reader, dudes. I study Pokemon as a profession. Now, why don't you tell me about yourself? Alright, so, you know, I'm gonna go with the second darkest, because I'm not that dark, but like, you can definitely tell I'm black. <laughs> so, we didn't get the chance to name ourselves in Breath of the Wild, but, ooh, what the fuck? But for, for all the LPs I'm going to be doing where I get the chance to name myself, oh, it's just going to go with Shaq. I don't mind the Goku or Black Goku, but as far as just like the, the LPs, just going to keep with Shaq. This is my rival. I didn't really get to play too much of this. This boy here is your friend and rival who has grown up right next door to you. What is his name now? Hmm. Shit. So since you guys already know, red, blue, and green are going to be in this game. Because I was going to give them like a little name to kind of go with that. But they're in the game, so it would be kind of weird to give him like blue or green if like... Eh. Eh. I will nickname him. Or not nickname, it's just his name. <laughs> Natsuki. Now the reason why I'm going for Natsuki is because, well, no specific reason. I just want to give him the name Natsuki. One of my favorite anime characters slash protagonist's name is Natsuki Subaru. If you guys know uh, what anime that's from, then let me know in the comments. That'd be that'd be lit. Yes, a world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Iko ka, let's go. By the way, I, I I talk a lot of weeb shit sometimes, so just expect some random, like, improper, proper, sometimes grammatically correct, Japanese. Yeah, for the first Pokemon game for the Switch that's, you know, a main series game, this, this shit looks really fucking nice. Honestly, it's just an upscaled version of Sun and Moon, but... With like some stuff reworked and redone, but it it still looks damn good. I was I wasn't hoping for like any crazy intense graphics. Like even with Sword and Shield, I, like like yeah, the graphics matter a little bit. But at the end of the day, it's a Pokemon game. You're gonna be fucking going ham like with all the catching, trading, adventuring. Like it, the, the graphics aren't <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, graphics aren't like the craziest thing. Uh, I'm coming up. Up and at him. Oh, I love you could have named him like Ash or something. It doesn't fucking matter. Morning, Shaq. What's going on? You've got one weird look on your face. Ah, uh, never mind that. I couldn't wait any longer, so I came to get you. Today's finally the big day. We're finally going to get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. Oh, but before we do... Yeah, usually you want to check your email or the... the computer that's in your room because you'll in, in most pokemon games the main games they give you like a little potion or some shit but I'm trying to talk like i'm a fucking like professional with this i low-key am i've played all the po the main series pokemon games some of the spin-offs i'm going uh i'm gonna book it to professor oak's lab see you there soon oh i completely messed that up uh, well i hope you guys are feeling good today stay hydrated drink water get a little bit of exercise in do a little bit, a uh, little bit of cardio, a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a uh, light calisthenics. 
That's my shit. Calisthenics. Ooh. Man. Ooh. Damn. They've redone Kanto so many times, but like, this is still just like, jaw dropping. Let's talk to this dude real quick. Technology is incredible, yep. That's the technology is amazing guy, who you will find in, I, I think, pretty much all main series Pokemon games. Well, my good Pidgey, thanks for the help. I think I understand you all a bit better now. Thanks to this. Ah, if it doesn't check. Oh, of course. I promised to give you and Natsuki your Pokemon today, didn't I? Well, in that case, why don't we head over to... Aw, oh, shit. Here comes my Patana. And it's a boy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey. Let's go. Yeah, the Pikachu that you get, or the Pikachu and the Eevee that you get in your respective games actually has like, I think, uh, higher uh, base stats than the average Pikachu and Eevee from just other games. So, because obviously for those of you who know the stats for Pikachu and like Eevee, like before they evolved and shit, it's actually like pretty lackluster, pretty mediocre, but they made it so that in this game, since it's your starter Pokemon, and I don't know if you can switch them off or not, like, take them off your party, but, like, they, they made them a lot stronger, so you can just, like, like low-key, like, solo part of the, parts of the game with it. Or at least not, like, solo, but just, like, do, like, pretty well. And obviously the catching mechanic in this game is you using your little Joy-Con to, like, like throw the ball, kind of like in Pokemon Go when you swipe up. Y'all probably already know this, just, y'all just trying to watch me play the game. Yeet! Woo! Y'all see that excellent throw? Hell yeah. Delicious. Yatase! We got ourselves a Pika bitch. Okay. <laughs> that was a pretty fine performance for your for a first timer, my boy. Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give the Pikachu you call a name? What in the... What in the Arceus? Now that's a lively Pokemon if I've ever seen one. Hey, wait, come back! Ah! <laughs> See, since there were only two balls before, I, I'm very curious as to what he would have given, like, the both of us. Obviously, one of them was going to be Eevee. Like, I wonder if... I wonder if the other one was, like... A Clefairy or like another Eevee? That would've been cool. That would've been cool. Professor Oak, those Pokeballs there, I swear there were only two a second ago, but now there are three. A perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is a Pikachu that Shaq just caught. Uh, so wait Shaq, you caught it yourself? What? I've never seen that happen before. Oh ho ho. How interesting. Well, my boy, this is it. Take that Pokeball and keep good hold of it this time. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that looks cool. Oh. I like low key want there to be a little bit of voice acting in uh in Sword and Shield. I know they probably won't do that, like, cause that would probably take a lot more time, like development time to get like voice actors for all the languages that they have the game available in, but but maybe maybe they can do that for Gen 9. I feel like that can be a reasonable like thing to do. Hmm. What a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't seem to like staying in one place, but it looks as though it's taking a shine to you, Shaq. Why not give it a name? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, do I want to give it a nickname? Hmm. I've never really been one to really nickname my Pokemon, so I don't know. Yeah, sure. I'll give him a nickname. I will name him. 
Uh... Kami. I will nickname him Kami. They don't even give me the option to, like, fucking make sure I was spelling everything right. Or, yeah, whatever. He's gonna get this Eevee. Professor, I choose this one. Natsuki got the Eevee. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, just one more thing. Now that you two are setting out as trainers, I'd like to ask, uh, ask your help with something. Take... God, I am sitting so close to the monitor, it's like, it's like hurting. <laughs> Take this with you on your journeys. I like her has blue hair, that's cool. She should have been a protagonist of this game. Cause you know how like every anime protagonist or video game protagonist like usually has like some crazy color hair. What is this thing? Or what is that thing, Professor? This is the Pokedex that I've designed. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught and it makes an entry for each. It's an extremely high tech tool. Or encyclopedia. Shaq and Natsuki, I want you each to take one with you. Did you know that like the little language that's or like the little text that's on the like just on everything in the Pokemon uh, verse is is like an it's an actual language that you can that you can like translate. Well, it, hold on, phone's going off. Let me turn off my damn notifications because this this is annoying. Uh, one segundo. Why did it fucking pause the music like that? That was weird. Okay. You'll find you can't... Wait. <laughs> You'll find you can't get every detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the most complete data. To make a complete guide to all the Pokemon in the world? That was my dream. But I'm an old ass man. Too old to get the job done myself. That's why I want you two youngins to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. Yeah, this is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. A Pokedex, huh? We're gonna meet so many Pokemans. Okay. Alright. The reading takes so much time. So unnecessary. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit because I'm hella close to the monitor and it's hurting my eyes. What's up, Okasan? Look at my Pika Pete. Oh, how cute. This is the one you got from the professor? Hi. What? You caught it yourself? That's amazing. What should I call your new friend? Kami. It's a lovely Pokemon. Pikachu! <laughs> oh man, like after seeing the Detective Pikachu movie, like. I like, every time I see Pikachu, I just imagine him with Ryan Reynolds' voice, dude. And like, it it kind of just fits. Like, I, I can't not hear it. It's like, a lot of people are saying they can't unhear Ryan Reynolds' voice as Pikachu. Some people thought it was weird at first, but I don't know, man. Like, I know there was like at least once when Pikachu had a voice. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the, in the Pokemon the movie, I Choose You. On, uh, that, that's on Netflix, by the way, if you guys haven't seen it. It's, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. I think it's set in the 7th gen, yeah, yeah. It, it's, well, obviously it's a retelling of Ash's, you know, uh, first adventure, but it's it has Sun and Moon Pokemon. Is that an Oddish? Oh, shit. Wait, I don't think I can, do I have any Pokeballs right now? Did they start me off with Pokeballs? Oh, okay. Bet. <laughs> oh! Bro, I tried to go for that, like, clutch excellent the last second. That Rattata just go. Yeah, I'm literally just gonna catch this Rattata, catch one Pidgey, and then just, like, book it to the, uh, to the town. The, the story for the OG Red and Blue games. Hey, For the, uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow games were pretty, pretty, like, I wanna say, not basic, but... A little bit on the simpler side in comparison to the just like the later games which is fine but the thing that was also pretty interesting about the first gen game story oh quick attack bad was that 
there was a there's actually like a lot of story elements that were kind of no i won't say obscure but you kind of had to like find it for yourself like with the whole mewtwo story and like the like like uh how he was you know created for mew and just that uh, mr fuji was actually dr fuji who helped create mewtwo and shit and like was a scientist with professor blaine or gym leader blaine it, it's just really interesting shit that you got to pick up on yourself and like with the whole like uh sylphco plot as far as uh team rocket trying to like damn it team rocket trying to take control of it and like get the slip scope or self scope uh whatever you call it like as, as far as being able to see ghost pokemon so they can catch ghost mon so they can use it to fight or capture the the escape me too it, it, it's, it's like such a it, it's something that like unless you were kind of woke or just like paying attention to every little thing wouldn't have made much sense as a kid when you were playing it and just trying to understand what was going on but i digress it like the the gen 1 story is a little slept on but it is still by no means the the most detailed for me like my my favorite my favorite plots by far like the best stories were easily like gen 5 and gen 7 like so good so good and so many people complain about the amount of cutscenes in Sun and Moon, and I'm just like, bro, like, it it low key wasn't that many cutscenes, and like, oh, hold on, yeah, like it, it like high key wasn't even that many cutscenes because we you take it into consideration that Pokemon is an RPG with like, like you know a lot of a lot of like uh, different mechanics, you really want to you really want to make the story feel a bit more immersive as opposed to just like going to like a team rocket i'm not gonna talk to them because i know what i gotta do you want to make the story seem more immersive by having more than just like basic little just like movement cutscenes and just have like a little bit more uh and when i say movement cutscenes i mean okay well real real quick real quick so we got a delivery for the pokemart i th i think before yeah i think in the original games the parcel was pokeballs i forget what it is this time can i fast travel back yeah, they're, they're gonna let me fast travel. Uh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Let's let's do this. If, if I remember, then I'll go back. Oh, oh, the, the cutscene shit. Why, Shaq, back so soon? How's little Pikachu doing? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, that's cute. Hey, hey, my boy. My boy. Goodness me, Pikachu here seems to seems like it's really come to be a true partner to you, Shaq. Wow, my reading is so so sucky. Plus, there's a lot of background noise. I'm just like, oh, can you not? I think you've got what it takes to become a great Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me. You hand the professor his parcel. <laughs> okay, what did you get? I don't care what you have to say. Whoa, Shaq, it's so <laughs> that's so cool. Pikachu just rides on you like that? Hell yeah. Ah, and now we have Natsuki as well. What fine timing. I've just been delivered. Uh, I've just been delivered some very handy items, which I think. Oh, I think they're berries. There, there we go. Because I was like, wait, what could it be? Like, the, in the OG games, you didn't. Well, it, OG being red, blue, yellow, and green, there were no berries. You berries weren't introduced till Gen 2. But in the remakes, Fire Red, Leaf Green, you can get berries and shit, which is pretty dope. Uh, it's just him just explaining how you want to use berries to try and help catch Pokemon a little bit easier. So, like, like literally, if you if you play Pokemon Go even like one time, like you, you know what this is. So I'm not gonna go through all like the super basic like introductory shit because it's it's kind of most people know it. But for those of you who may not know, I will give a very brief overview when when necessary. But it's, it's probably not gonna be anything too crazy. Mm, have fun. Okay. Wait up. Come on, Shaq. You do know what you can... Wait, wait. <laughs> you do know you can do more with Pokemon than just catch them, right? Yeah, we fucking have cockfights. <laughs> I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's battle time. Let's do it. Dun, 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 and see, like, since I haven't beaten this game, like, I, uh, in my old profile, I, I literally just checked it. 
I, I only have like four badges, so I guess you can say like roughly halfway through the game, but not really. Uh, I, I'm very much looking forward to how the soundtrack's gonna be, because like I, I heard a lot of good shit about the, the soundtrack. A lot of new revamped themes. That was a crit. Hey, paralysis? Yo, let's fucking go, dude. Get wrecked. Woo! Paralysis on the first fucking turn? Yo, I can already tell this is gonna be a hot let's play. We're gonna be a hot let's play. So, if you guys are excited too, leave a motherfucking like. Destroy that shit. Thunderbolt the like button, my boys. Please. It shows me that you like the. What? Oh. For. See, I forgot that the first one, I forgot that quickly that the first um the first attack was a was a crit. I'm like, why didn't the second one kill? It got him to like half. Anyway, yeah, if you're enjoying the let's play, leave a like, show show that you support, leave a comment, talk to your boy. I'm very I'm very interactive. Like I very much like to talk to you guys in the comments. Uh yeah. Oh, obviously hit this hit the hit that little nice sub button, hit the click click subscribe notification bell, because then you'll get uploads uh like in your notifications and I like how they're a, a lot more exp or seemingly more expressive with the facial expressions and stuff in this game than they were with Sun and Moon Sun and Moon had like pretty decent like expressions though like actually no yeah the the facial expressions in Sun and Moon were like like kind of like next level though compared to what like what we're, what we're used to did you enjoy your first taste of battle young Shaq your partner Pikachu seemed to like it of course of course Okay, now I can leave. Okay? I don't think there's anything else, right? Yay, now I can leave Pal- Oh. And this is my rival sister, I think. What did- Wait, I already got the town map from my mom. What did she give me? Oh! She gives me- Oh, just look at Pikachu. You two are already looking like great partners. And I've got the perfect little gift for such a great team. Here, take this. You got sportswear from your friend's big sister. You put the sportswear in your clothing trunk. Try putting that on Pikachu. You can go on an adventure in matching clothes. Hell yeah! About to have my boy styling and profiling, just like me. Oh? Okay. Kami looks very happy. So, you can play with him, pet him, press ZR or the A button, press Y to center your hand. Wait, what? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Oh, god damn it. I The Joy-Con that I have doesn't have like the little letters on it and like I like very briefly forgot where the fucking uh which letters or which buttons and I had to look at the other Joy-Con but at that point it was too late. Don't forget to show uh, it some love from time to time. Yeah, of course. I'm going to play with Kami has been added to the main menu. Press the X button to see. Okay? I am about to put my boy his clothes on right now. Outfit for Kami. Hat. Hey, I find it very, very peculiar that uh, that my rival's big sister had clothes that match mine, just like for Pikachu when like like her brother doesn't wear anything that looks like remotely close to that like, or at least as far as like the, the color scheme so it's, it's a little weird but hey okay all right that, is he, wait was he always there what what the fuck oh okay i'm like that little boy was definitely not there before it's a bit scary but you can hop down from them you'll get back to pallet town quicker that way all right i got my way this guy is going to give me some potions, or a potion. Hell yeah, I'm going to need that. Because we got a Pokemon battle coming up. I remember a little bit from this game, but I I'm very happy that there's going to be enough different stuff in the game to make it not just like a, a copy and paste from the OG games. Trainers, eyes have met. I'll battle you with my pun. Oh, hold on. with my favorite Pokemon. Uh, ow, my arm. Oh man, I think I did something on my shoulder when I was at the gym yesterday. Big Rip, you're challenged by youngster Ronnie. My name's Ronnie, and I have a Weedle shirt. And I'm gonna send out a Rattata. 
Dude, the little, like, they're not quite chibis. They're, they're like, pretty close to chibis, but the, the models for this game, they look so cute to me. Like, it's just, like, like it, you, you can tell that it, it seems like a more, like, I don't, I don't want to say, like, children's game, because Pokemon is a children's game, but, like, um, like, comparing it to how with Omega Ruby and Al Alpha Sapphire and, like, X and Y, how the, the, uh, the models were like more more chib chibified and then you take sun and moon and ultra sun and moon and then you have the more proportion or more proportional proportionate more realistic proportions of the human anatomy uh for like little little kids like adults like big small whatever and, and, and it wasn't like as chibi or it just wasn't chibi i feel like with this game they were going a little bit more for the chibi designs which are fucking amazing in my opinion like i i, I love it um but i also really like the sword and shield um, models? Sprite work? No, 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 models. models. You got three Pokeballs. What do you want? What do you want? Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna tell me about the Pokemon Center. Yep. Yeah, he's just quickly telling me about the Pokemon Center. Okay. Yeah, I don't like how they do that little, like, that super, that super linear, like, movement, like, it's, like, I don't have that movement, like, even though it's a cutscene, I feel like you should just be able to run away, like, and not just be, like, super jagged. That's a small gripe, though. Actually, a medium gripe, medium gripe. What up, Nurse Joy? Yo, cute ass. What's up, Chansey? How you doing? Time to heal up these Pokemans. I have no idea what I want my team to be yet. Uh, in the in my first playthrough of the game, I had all the starters, Pikachu and a Gyarados. And I think Snor oh, wait, wait. Pikachu, the starters, Gyarados, yeah, Gyarados, Snorlax. Oh not yet. Wait, wait, did I get Lapras at that point? I know I was going I was trying to go with Red's original team from the from the hard gold soul silver rematch like on mount silver but eh, i i want to try and be a little original and just like not do that so let's let's go over here there, there's some there's some different monsters you can catch over here or there should be route 22 okay i think this is where you get like nidoran and shit oh fuck that you, you kind of scared me you just popped out like <laughs> i might i like I might try and do some shiny hunting, like, uh, like, yeah, like, okay, I will, ooh, dude, that excellent, and yeah, you get more EXP when you do, like, like, uh, better throws, but yeah, I, I might incorporate, like, a little bit of shiny hunt, shiny hunting into some of the episodes, or I just might record me doing some shiny hunting and just upload it, or, even better, I can just stream myself shiny hunting, yeah. Just like let you guys know, do like uh do like some little like one, two, maybe three hour live streams, just like me shiny hunting. Shiny hunting in this game isn't that hard, I think. And it's kind of fun because you get to see all the Pokemon in the overworld, so it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to waste uh encounters and shit. Alright, so we just caught this Spearow. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to catch this dude. Or not trying to catch him. I'm not trying to keep him on my team. So Uh, wait, what? I don't have the option yet? Do I not have the option to to box this motherfucker? Damn, you know what sounds good right now? Some fried chicken. <laughs> no, like, like low-key, I haven't had fried chicken in such a long time. Unless you're a vegetarian or vegan or have something against chicken i feel like everyone likes chicken like why not like it's so so good especially when you bake chicken bro like baked chicken breasts so good for the gains all right let's talk to you we'll see gonna give me something your pokemon use a move of the same type oh, okay yeah it's called stab same type of attack bonus talk to you are you going to viridian forest it's a natural maze in there be careful Okay. Well, 
all right, my dudes, we've made it to Viridian Forest, so I'm just gonna save here. I think we got we got we got enough content in this in this uh, part of the LP. Well, we're going to continue with this very soon because I I just wanna I just wanna binge this game and record or record at least like like three maybe four episodes and just have it on like a pre scheduled upload to go in like to go coincide with the Zelda LP. Anyway. This has been your boy Shaq, aka Black Goku. I hope you guys had an amazing time. Don't forget to hit a like, hit the like button, <laughs> subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified of when I upload. And, I don't know, stay hydrated, stay cool, uh, stay in school. <laughs> PC, Audi.